Musk has the ambition of moving millions of people to Mars so that they can live there permanently. On a journey that could last as long as nine months, his spacecraft is only capable of carrying a maximum of 100 passengers at one time. Are starships fueled by nuclear energy able to make the process go any quicker? This is just a quick glance at how converting the insane starship's power source to nuclear energy can take weeks off of travel time needed to reach the destination. The spaceship is a great accomplishment in the field of engineering. It is incredibly quick, it is insanely large, it is entirely reusable and both of its stages can land in a standing position. Even NASA has faith in it. As evidenced by the fact that it has hired SpaceX to use it upon landing as the astronauts on the moon. In addition, the United States military is interested in employing it as an extremely quick mode of cargo transportation. On this planet, though, the spacecraft is destined for longer journeys than it took to get here. Although their motivations are different, both SpaceX and NASA are counting on it to get them to Mars in the end. At this point, the Starship's capabilities are immediately brought into question because of the limitations imposed by utilizing regular rocket fuel. The one-way journey aboard the Starship may take as long as nine months and consume an absurd amount of propellant. This is extremely problematic for Musk objectives for a number of different reasons. As mentioned by Musk himself, the most obvious one is Musk's dream of transplanting enough people on the globe in a short enough time to build a society that can support itself. In order to accomplish this goal, it will be necessary to rapidly transport millions of people across the huge distance that separates the two planets. Nevertheless, the duration of a single journey that only goes in one direction can be up to nine months, depending on a configuration of the planets. The spacecraft is only capable of delivering a trickle of colonists to Mars in the best of times, even though it can carry 100 people at once. In order to reach the size that Musk envisioned, faster transportation is an absolute must. There are other practical reasons why speed and the big plan to take over Mars are important radiation is an example. This is a problem for engineers who are making long-trip spaceships with people on board. When you work in space, radiation is everywhere. Even SpaceX knows this and plans to add a radiation shelter to their versions of the Starship that can carry people. That's a good choice, but the more time you spend out there, the more radiation you're exposed to. And the serious health problems that come with it could make it impossible to explore Mars. When doing things like this, there is a real chance that the radiation will cause cancer or sterility, which would be a big problem for any plans to increase the number of people on Mars through reproduction. The best way out of this situation is just to make the trip go faster, which seems unlikely given how the chemistry of burning propellants works. Musk wants to put people on Mars for good, but NASA is going there to collect information. Even when there are no people on board, it is important to get data as quickly as possible to show that the large number of resources needed is worth it. NASA is ready to send the Starship even further, like to Neptune, if it makes it to Mars. When this happened the last time, it took the spaceship Voyager 212 years to get there. It only took a few amazing photos taken during a flyby. In that amount of time, the country's government could have changed hands and missions could have been cancelled. If the Voyager 2 could have gone faster, astronomers would have been able to get their pictures and data from it quicker and even send out follow-up missions. Having enough fuel for long trips is also a problem. To get away from the Earth's pool, you need a huge amount of fuel. If that happens, there may not be enough fuel for the spaceship to go anywhere. SpaceX is working to fix this problem by setting up a series of fueling stations in the space where the Starship can get more fuel. But that just makes the process harder and more expensive, since it takes about six other Starships to fully load a single one. Space is a big place and everything is far away from Mars. So if you want to get anywhere, you need to move very quickly. So what can SpaceX do to speed up the spaceship? There are actually a few choices, and one of them is to use solar sails. But does it go any quicker? Here is how solar sails work. You've probably seen sails on boats move faster when the wind blows. The wind is made up of tiny pieces of air that have enough speed to move the sails of the ship. Light from the sun is made up of particles called photons, which don't have mass but do have momentum. So if SpaceX gives the Starship enough sails, Photons from the sun will hit the sails and move the starship forward. 
The Japanese Icarus spaceship that flew by Venus used this method to move forward. It is also used by Planetary Society Light Sail 2 spacecraft, which is going around the Earth. But how fast can the starship go with the solar sails pulling it? Given how heavy it is, attaching sails the size of a football field will only make about 9.3 weight or measurement, which is not very much. And as the ship moves away from the sun, fewer photons can hit the sails, which slows the ship down. Nuclear propulsion is the other choice. Yes, the same nuclear plant that makes electricity can also power a spaceship, even though it gets a bad name when there are nuclear accidents. NASA hasn't shown much interest in using nuclear power in its rockets. But you have to know that the space agency has put a lot of money into its rocket, the space launch system, and its Artemis moon program, which will use chemical propulsion. Also, NASA makes a lot of decisions based on politics, so the agency may be hesitant to start this kind of project. But a private company like SpaceX doesn't have to follow these rules. If Musk really wants to, he can use nuclear power to power his starship. What makes rockets that use nuclear power better? Well, uranium has an energy density that is more than 4 million times higher than the average chemical rocket fuel. This means that much less uranium is needed to get the same amount of energy from uranium as from hydrogen. This makes it easier to move around in space. How will it work if that happens? If Musk decides to use nuclear energy, he can go one of the two ways. The first is nuclear thermal propulsion, which is very strong and works well even when it is not being used. A small nuclear fission reactor like the ones that power nuclear submarines will be built into the starship. The reactor will heat a gas like hydrogen and speed it up through a nozzle. This will give a spacecraft the thrust it needs to move forward. Chemical propulsion system aren't as good as the thermal propulsion system, which is more than twice as good. For context, they can put out up to 1,000 newtons of force. If your car can make that much force, it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than a quarter of a second. On a larger scale, though, this means that the Starship can land on Mars about 25% faster. Engineers at NASA say so. Nuclear electric propulsion is the other choice. The idea is to use high-power fission reactor to make electricity, which can then be used to power a thruster like a hull thruster. Not only does this look cool, but it also works three times better than the thermal propulsion system. It's a plus that it can power more than one electric thruster at once. Electric propulsion is best for very long trips, such as going to Mars or further. It doesn't need solar energy, works very well, and has a lot of push. We did a rough calculation and found that this method of propulsion can get the spaceship to Mars about 70% faster. This will help Musk's plan to quickly get a million of people to Mars a lot since it will cut down on the time it takes and the risks that come with spending a lot of time in space. The SpaceX of something like this in the works? Musk has hinted in the past that nuclear power might be better than the chemical fuel that the Raptor engines use. Are there any problems with spaceships that run on nuclear power? There are, of course. But Musk is not the type of person to run away from problems. What do you think about the fact that the Starship is nuclear reactors? Let us know in the comments section if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell below so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new content. That's it for today, I'll see you in the next video.